This video is for 3.4 Day 1, Solving Multi-Step Inequalities. So let's begin with Example 1. Uh, Multi-step means we're going to be using more than one step, so at least two steps involved. So let's see, the first thing we want to do in this inequality, 9 plus 4t greater than 21 is subtract the 9, minus 9, minus 9. And the reason why we're subtracting 9 first is because we're using the reverse order of operations. So we get 4t greater than 12. Now we have one step left. We're going to divide both sides by 4. And again, we get t is greater than 3. So there's our solution. And now we need to check. We're using the same checking process as is in, in the other uh, inequality problems we were doing in the last two sections. So we want to check the endpoint first. And the endpoint is 3. So we're going to use the equation and plug in 3 for t. So 9 plus 4 times 3 equals 21. 9 plus 12 equals 21. 21 equals itself. That is correct. Now let's check the inequality symbol. Which means we're using the original inequality and now, how do we figure out what number goes in for the t? Well, let's look at our answer right here. t is greater than 3. Well, let's pick any number that's bigger than 3. So the next biggest number would be 4. So let's plug in 4. 9 plus 4 times 4, greater than 21, question mark. Um, 9 plus 16 is greater than 21, question mark, and then 25. Is 25 greater than 21? Yes. So our solution is correct. Okay, example two. In a community garden, you want to fence in a vegetable garden that is adjacent to your friend's garden. You have at most 42 feet of fence. What are the possible lengths of your garden? So let's un underline the important information, adjacent. Uh, I'm not sure if you've heard that word before. Adjacent means right next to. So as you can see in the picture, of the gardens, your garden is right next to your friend's garden. Also important is the phrase at most 42 feet of fence and then it's looking for the lengths. Remember the question is always having the variable that we're looking for. So let's say L is the length of garden and now fence is always going around the perimeter of the garden. So I kind of just gave it away. Um, we're looking for the perimeter. And this diagram right here is going to help us out a lot. And let's see, it's not on your page. So it would be wise of you to write this down, especially if it helps you understand the problem. So perimeter of a figure that is a rectangle is always twice the length plus twice the width. So we have that right here, twice the length, twice the width, is at most the amount of fence. So now we're going to do 2L plus 2W is at most less than or equal to 42. Now there's one other given information that we didn't get in the words, but we actually got in the picture. Take a look at the 12 feet. That is the width of the garden. So we're going to plug that in for the W. 2W is 2 times 12. The rest comes down. Okay, we have 24. 2L plus 24 is less than or equal to 42. We have a two-step inequality now, so let's subtract 24 from both sides. And we get 2L is less than or equal to 18. One step more, divide by 2. And L is less than or equal to 9. So that means the length of the garden must be 9 feet or less. So I just wrote the conclusion sentence. You can write that down on your note sheet as well. And we will move on to the next example. We're going to be using the distributive property here to solve. So let's do this. 3 times T plus 1. I'm rewriting the original. 
Okay, let's share that three in front. Distribute. And the arrow is pointing to the plus. It's actually to the one. 3t plus 3. Then bring down the rest. And do you see any like terms? I do. These two right here. 3t minus 4t is negative 1t. Bring down the plus 3. Everything else is the same. Two-step equation now. Let's subtract the 3 to the other side. Negative 1t is greater than or equal to negative 8. Okay, now we have a negative involved in front of the t. What do we do with the symbol? We flip it when we divide by a negative. So the symbol is flipping. Now the t is by itself, and we get a positive 8 over there. So the answer is t is less than or equal to 8. The original problem said what, which one of them, a, b, c, or d, is a solution. And what you need to do is look at our answer. t is less than or equal to 8. Which number is less than, aka smaller, or equal to 8? 9, 10, and 11 are all bigger than 8. So 8 is the only number that's the solution up there. In 3.4 day 2's material, we're going to focus on when we have a variable on both sides of the inequality. So let's get started. Some inequalities have variables on both sides of the symbol. We need to gather the variable terms on one side and the constant terms on the other. So essentially we're just combining like terms, which is what we've been doing a lot. So here's our first example. What are the solutions of 6n minus 1 is greater than 3n plus 8? The first thing that we want to do is identify the like terms. So as you can see, there's a 6n on the left and a 3n on the right. So technically we could take either one and bring it to the other side, but I would highly recommend taking the 3n to the other side if you want to work with positive numbers, positive coefficients. So now we have a 3n minus 1 is greater than 8. And now we have a two-step equation. We're going to bring the negative 1 over, so we're adding 1, add 1 to both sides. And so now we have 3n is greater than 9. Divide both sides by 3, because that's the opposite of multiplication, and you get n is greater than 3. And that's the solution for this example. Now there are some special cases. These don't always happen, but these happen when the variables cancel out. So let's do a little star somewhere on the side. Variables cancel out. That means they disappear. Now here's the first case. When you get a statement that is always true, such as 4 is greater than 1, that is always true, your solution is going to be all real numbers. That means that every single number that you plug in for the variable is going to make the inequality work. So that's the first case. And another special case is when you get an answer that is never ever true. An example of this would be 9 is less than or equal to negative 5. 9 is obviously bigger than negative 5, not less than. If that happens, you're going to get no solution. That means no matter what number it is, it will not work when you substitute it in for the variable. So those are the two special cases, and now we will see what those look like when we are doing examples. So in part A, we have this inequality. As you can see, we want to distribute the two. And so the left stays the same. And now we get, okay, interesting. So now let's add 8a to both sides. Uh-oh, what happens? The variables cancel out, aka special case going on. Now we have 10 is greater than or equal to 10. What do you think? This is always going to be true because of that line underneath the symbol, the, le the greater than or equal to. 10 is always going to be equal to itself. So always true, and that means the solutions are all reals. Okay, now let's try it. part B. 6m minus 5, the left side stays the same. Oh, I see some like terms. I see a 7m and a minus 1m. What do you get when you combine those? You get 6m. And we have a 7 over there. Okay, subtract 6m from both sides. 
and you get negative 5 is greater than 7. Mm, no, it doesn't work. That's never true. So that means there is no solution for this inequality. Nothing works. Okay, that's it. It was a pretty short lesson. You can try the lesson check below or wait until we do similar problems together during class. Great work.